people from today. Virgin Pendolino train has been named as a Lady Godiva and the city's new flag has also been added to the livery. Our reporter Kevin Reid has more. Euston Station in London this morning and the setting for the unveiling of the new Lady Godiva train. Coventry school children who are also ambassadors for the city were there too as well as a well-known Cov kid, music guru and train enthusiast. We don't get many trains named these days because, you know, it's just not the culture. So to have a Lady Godiva, uh, of which I will definitely travel on more than once in the next few weeks, it's, it is fantastic. Also today, the new Coventry flag was added to the livery. It follows a competition amongst presenters at BBC Coventry and Warwickshire Radio to get it in as many prominent places as possible. So far, it's at the top of a crane, on faces, and outside Coventry Town Hall, but not Coventry UK, the one in Connecticut in the United States. Potentially, uh, the Coventry flag um, could be seen by around 40 million people. And I think if you're setting someone a challenge to get a flag somewhere prominent, being seen by 40 million people is a pretty good answer. Lady Godiva will operate on the West Coast Main Line, the first journey from London to Edinburgh. I'm Lorda Bailey from BBC Coventry and Warwickshire and you join me on this inaugural journey for the newly named Lady Godiva Pendolino. Some of our young ambassadors are going to be passing through the train. Please be sure to say hello and find out all of the great things Coventry has to offer. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. And those children were impressed with all that happened. Uh, I like asking people to come to Coventry and give in battle. I think it's good because it's got a Lady Good on it and um, Acro is blue, so it's like quite like traditional. It's phenomenal. Well, with the unveiling complete, we're now hurtling towards Coventry at 125 miles per hour, and this will be the first time the Lady Godiva train arrives in the city. And on arrival, dozens have turned out to greet the city's first ladies, first stop home. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry. Now, like, so, oh, excuse me.